Welcome to Capture Rupture, and today I'm going to show you how to make an animated banner for your YouTube channel. I'm going to be using Photoshop CS5 to make this banner, although other versions like CS4 and CS6 probably will be similar, so if you have them versions, stick with it and it shouldn't be too dissimilar to that. So once you've opened Photoshop, you want to go File, New, uh, YouTube recommends 2560 by 1440 and leave the rest as it is now. This is my personal YouTube header. I'm going to use this for our demonstration. I'm just going to demonstrate something really simple so that you just know how to do it yourself and you can do whatever you want and take it forward and make your own thing. So once you have your header how you want it, it's best to go to Window and then Animation, which will open this bar at the bottom. It will have each layer here in the timeline um, that you have in your actual layer palette here. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use the gaming and more text just here. I'm just going to move it left and right, something really simple, just so that you get an idea of how to actually do this and move forward and do it with your own header. So it's best to name all your layers so that you know what you're using and working with. So I'm going to open the gaming and more timeline down here. Um, so basically, uh, you've got a position, opacity, style, and text warp. These will do different things. Obviously, labeled position will move it. Opacity will make it more and less opaque, etc. So we want position because we're just going to move it back left and f left and right. So there's a stopwatch icon next to the text. What this does is to create what we call keyframes. So if I keyframe it here, the gaming and more text is going to stay in that position. What I want to do is have that position in the middle of my animation. So if I move this keyframe just by clicking and dragging a bit further along, um, what this will do is basically because we've only got one keyframe it will stay where it is and at the start I want to take my gaming and more text um, holding shift to move it upwards move it up here, it will automatically create a keyframe. So what this is telling us is that keyframe here starts up the top and what the program will do is something called tweening um, which will put everything in between the animation of your keyframes. So we've said we want the animation to start up here and end in the middle where it originally was. You can also press space to see what you've done so far. So if we wanted to, to stop in the middle for a while, what we'll do is go forward on the time frame and then press the little um, diamond shape. It's kind of hard to see, it's to the left of the stopwatch icon. Click that, should make a keyframe there. So what it's telling it is to go from the top to the middle and then stop for that length of time. You can increase the length of time by dragging wherever you want and then we want it to move forward again. So move the um, time frame along again and we want to move it down. So the whole animation looks like this so far. So for some reason the YouTube um, dimensions you only really see where my guidelines are so this bit just above my logo and this bit under it, that is what the YouTube header looks like, for example here. Even though we have all this extra space, we don't see it. But I think it's for um, TVs maybe on YouTube, it shows all this extra space, so that's why they make it that big for some strange reason. But yeah, that is the basics on how to do it. So basically what we have done is made the gaming and more text start out of view. It comes into view and stops in the middle and then goes out of view. So I'm happy with what I've got so far and I'm going to show you how to render it out. I've actually added this little bit in. Um, I forgot to do it myself. Um, so before we render it out, we need to go to the very right hand side, the top bit of our timeline, and drag this part to the end frame so it's it's best to line um, this line up with our end keyframe and then pull that timeline um, 
ender, I guess, end slide um, along to the very edge of it. What this will do is only play this much and now we're ready to render out. So to render out, we go to File, Save for Web and Devices. It will take a second to load, depending on how many frames you have in your animation. Uh, you want to look up here and leave this how it is. Um, just make sure all these settings are fine. You can play around with them and increase and decrease the size and how good the quality is. Uh, you want to come down to here and see where it says looping options. Depending on what you want, you probably want it forever. Um, so you want it to loop over and over rather than just once. So make sure you set this to forever. You can also preview it in this space here. You want to zoom out first because for some reason it's insanely zoomed in. And you play it just by these options here. So it just gives you a quick preview of what it will look like. Uh, and then go ahead and save it. Um, call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it YouTube header final, which is fine. It takes a few seconds to save. And then go to your YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, you have to be signed in. See this little pencil on the top right hand side? Click that. Go to edit channel art. And then you can either select the files. Um, from clicking that blue button or just drag it in which I find much easier. It'll upload. You have to make sure your file is below 2 megabytes but it should be okay using that technique. If not, play around with them settings and get the file size down. So I'm happy with how it is. It gives you a quick preview on all the things. And I want to select that. It saves. and see it doesn't play straight away for some strange reason so hit refresh on your browser and there you go it should work so that's one way of making an animated banner um, what that's good for is if you want some movement but if you say for example just want to change the color of your banner uh, what you want to do is take a JPEG of your banner which you should already have uh, import it to Photoshop and see the timeline is completely different looking to what we did previously down here. This is more of a proper timeline um, in an animation sense and this is more of a uh, stop frame kind of way of working. So the way this works is uh, I'm just going to make the logo change color. So what we want to do is make each frame uh, each frame is going to be on a different layer, just how stop motion works. So uh, we start off with our normal logo. And what I'm going to do is go to Image Adjustments and Vibrance and make this minus 10 and minus 10. And what that is going to do is make the color less vibrant. Um, so I'm going to come up here and duplicate the layer again and do the same thing a few times. Uh, I will skip ahead and do this. So once you're happy with all the layers that you have, you want to come to your layer palette and you see these eyes here. What you want to do is hide the layers, all of them except the first layer that you want to use, which will be this one. So this one is the only one showing at the moment. We want to come down here to our animation panel. We want to click on this duplicate selected frames and click that. Uh, what we want to do next is click on the eye on the next one to show it. Then we want to click this again, duplicate selected frames, and then show the next layer. Click it again, and so on and so forth until you do all the frames in your animation. Uh, and then you want to click play, and nothing happens. And if you notice down here, it under it, the um, images each frame it says 10 seconds so you want to change that to maybe 0.1 depending on how joggy you want it um, if you have a lot of frames this is a pain to do individually so you click on the frame to the left and then hold shift and click number 18 or whatever one is to your right and then you want to come down and then select whatever delay you want so 0.1 in this case and click off it 
uh, and now it should play when we press play. And see here, it goes from being dark green to pale green back to dark green, which is brilliant. This is what we want. The animation only plays once, so to get it to either play three times or forever, or you can even click other. Uh, for now, we'll click forever, and then we can see it just looping, which is what we want. So if we stop it, um, to output it, it will be the same as the first time. We want to go up to File, Save for Web and Devices, wait until it loads, make sure everything's fine. Uh, looping option should be on forever if you want it on forever. Save it. Um, we will save it as color, spelt the English way because I am English with a U. And then you want to do the same to upload it. You click on the icon here, edit channel art, uh, drag it in. It will upload. Again, it's below 2 megabytes, which is the max file size, which is fine. You'll see a little preview here, it looks good, so select. It will say it's saving. And again, it won't play, don't panic, just hit refresh on your web browser. And there you go. Looks a bit crazy. <laughs> but it is looping and it's working kind of how we want it to. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just please ask below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.